my friends, it's your girl Lucky Jen, and I want to welcome you to another treasure hunting adventure. Today, I have brought you to one of the beautiful lakes in Tennessee, and it actually has two beaches where we're allowed to detect, so we're going to be doing some beach hopping between the two locations. Now, a caveat for those of you who are newer to detecting, there are many, many lakes in Tennessee that you cannot detect on, and then some of the ones like this one, um, there's hundreds of miles of shoreline, but there's only a couple spots where it's okay to detect. So if you are going to detect a lake, be sure you contact the park manager and just make sure of where you're allowed to be. So anyway, with that said, today I'm going to be detecting with my Fisher F75 and I'm going to be using all metal mode. And then for my sand scoop, I have the CKG. Um, and for good luck, I have a four leaf clover to start my day. Okay guys, latest signal here is uh, ringing up as a 61. So we will see what we got. So far I've got about eight pull tabs. Make sure I'm where I need to be. Alright. See if that did it. Alright, I think we have it in our scoop. So let's see what we got. Just shake this out over the hole. That way we can get it filled back in kind of as we go. Oh, I see a penny. First coin of the day. Penny. Okay guys, I have another 61, so probably it's going to be another penny. But that's a lot better than the pull tabs I've been digging, so we'll take it, even if it is a penny. Okay, so we were in the right spot. We just hadn't gone deep enough yet. Okay. Pennies and pull tabs kind of day so far. A four leaf clover needs to kick in. We guess correct. It is another penny. And looks like it is a 2013 maybe. Okay guys, I've got a signal here. This is a 70 to 71. It's kind of right at the edge of a little bit of a wash. Um, probably one of the better signals I've had so far today. Could be a dime, could be something better. I don't know. Uh oh, we may have to dig for this. The sand here is actually pretty thin, and so you hit this um, clay layer pretty quick, and it's really packed. And I think that's what we're going to be dealing with right here. So I've got my lish with me, thankfully. So we'll see if we can pop up whatever is ringing up. Whatever it is, it's gonna make us work for it a little bit, I guess. Yep. <laughs> okay, we got it. And we do have a coin. Make sure that was it. Looks like, oh. Well, that's a bummer. It actually is a penny. Let's see if we can tell a year on it. No, 1970. Might have been there a minute. Okay, guys, I have a nice signal here ringing up 94 there's another number in there so 
I could have two targets. Not totally sure about that. Okay. Okay, and we do have it in the scoop. So we'll see what we got. For the record, that hole behind me, I did not dig. <laughs> Some child did that, but I'm going to fill it in anyway. Okay, we got something stuck here to our handy dandy magnet. Looks like it's a little barrette is what we got. Like a little kid's barrette. So, this is uh, the second beach by the way, so first target of the second beach. Okay guys, so the first two beaches I hit uh, really didn't yield much of anything, so I have moved on to uh, another nearby Tennessee lake. Um, this one is quite large and we're going to have four beaches we can hit, so if you guys are ready, let's keep going. Okay guys, I've got the first target here at this beach. Um, it is a 70. It's kind of into the embankment where the water levels are down a little bit, so it's kind of a deep target. We'll see how long it takes me to get it. Almost feels like I've caught something there. A root. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me just check here, see if my pinpointer can get this yet. Um, initially it could not, so let's see if we're deep enough yet. Okay. All right. We do have it. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to shake the sand through or not because it's really kind of wet and heavy. So, and there's lots of leaves and stuff in it too. So I think that because of that, we're going to just opt to use our pinpointer. We have a coin. So, and it looks like it's gonna be a dime. And I'll grab my brush and let's just clean it off real quick and see what we got. I'm corrected, it's a penny. <laughs> it's just very corroded. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a date off of it, but I'll show you guys anyway. All right, on to the next target. Okay, guys, so um, I have a target here that is ringing up between 55 and 57. So we're going to see what it is. Sorry, we might have a little um, background noise. The uh, guys are here mowing the grassy parts of the park today. Alright, let me just check this with my uh, pinpointer. Make sure I'm not off target a little bit. Hmm. Okay, it must still be too deep for the pinpointer. Okay, thankfully I finally have it in the scoop. Um, it was actually quite a deep target. 
Okay. Finally. Well, it's a ring-like object. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually a ring. I see. If it is, it's definitely a copper ring, but um, I think it might be like a piece of like fitting or something. It's very coppery on the inside anyway. Let me uh, have a closer look with the magnifier. See if we can tell anything else about it here. Nope. You know what, guys? It is actually a ring. Look, there's a design. We got a ring! <laughs> I think it's a copper ring, but it's a ring nonetheless. So this latest target is ringing up between 32 and 35, and it is a shallow target. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got it in the scoop. Maybe it'll be something good. A second ago, I just found a little barrette. <laughs> so, it could be the matching barrette, who knows. Pull tab. Okay guys, I have a odd signal. Um, it's ringing up 78 to, to 90, but just a hint. Um, and I think it's really deep, so I'm hoping maybe if we can take a couple of uh, scoops of the sand out, then uh, maybe we'll get a stronger signal. I'm also racing the weather. You guys might remember in the fall, um, I came here. No. Let me see. Anyway, when I was here in the fall, I got rained out. <laughs> and we have big old dark storm clouds and it's raining on me right now. So I'm gonna try to finish this park though before it really comes down. Wow, it is tiny, tiny. It's like the teeniest, tiniest little old thing. Um, I actually think it's gonna be like part of a cliff. It almost looks like a part of a watch link or a hair clip piece. I really don't know what that is. All right, my friends, I am wrapping up my tour of these Tennessee lake beaches for now. We ended up hitting five in total, um, found lots and lots of junk. Um, check out the collection of pool dabs. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so all of the beaches are nice and clean now that I have been there and just thought I would show you real quick what else I found. Um, of course, had some other junk, some bottle caps with glass still in them. Um, one very rusty, crusty tent stake, some kind of a big old um, nail or something like that. Somebody got their leg pulled off, maybe a wrestler, not sure. <laughs> some chew, um, found a couple of fishing weights, one of these that actually still had the hook, so definitely glad I got that one off the beach. And then found this cute little bobblehead doggy. I think it's a dog. <laughs> couple of barrettes, a handful of coins. None of these were old that I can tell. This penny was 1970. Um, and then this nickel um, is so crusty, I still can't tell what it is. So we're gonna have to look and see on that one. And of course, the highlight of the day was the cool old ring I found that was down pretty deep. I really had to dig for that. It's got some designs on it. And it looks like there's a couple of letters maybe um, inside of it as well. So I'll take a nice close up photo showing those letters and that way you guys can kind of see what it is. Anyway, um, it was a fun hunt and we'll probably wait and revisit these beaches again at the end of summer after lots of people have been here. You guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe. And then here at the end, I'll link some other videos. So if you want to check out my channel a little bit further, you can explore and do that. Until the next time, you guys, happy hunting and the best of luck. Can you guys spot the four leaf clovers? 
Here's a hint, there's more than one right here in this little patch. Let me know how many you see in the comments.